Hi, I'm Natalia Levy and welcome back to my kitchen. I am super excited to share today's recipe with you. I love shepherd's pie and I usually get it at an English pub or an Irish pub. Great, great, delicious, very comforting meal. But I wanted to create a different version of it, a healthier version, a meat-free version. So this recipe today is a vegan version of a shepherd's pie. And here's what we'll need today. I have some Idaho potatoes that have already been peeled and ready to go on the stove for our mashed potatoes. We have some baby Bella mushrooms. I had about 10 ounces of these. We have a can of chickpeas and we saved the liquid from it. We have onions and carrots and celery, which is our traditional mirepoix. Uh, for the cheese in the potatoes, I use this Kite Hill cream cheese, and I like the chai flavor in it. We also have some Worcestershire sauce, some ketchup barbecue sauce, and nutritional yeast to just amplify that cheesy flavor in the potatoes. Let's get cooking. The first thing we did is put the potatoes on the stove, and now we have our saute pan. We hit this up, we put a little bit of olive oil in here, and we are going to create our vegetable mushroom mixture. I'm gonna let this heat up for just one second. And then we add our onions, our celery, and carrots. And we're gonna put the mushrooms right in here. So the goal here is to get everything thoroughly cooked. Because once we pulse everything with the chickpeas in the food processor, and before we put this in the oven, we wanna make sure that everything is already cooked. So we're getting some nice, Smell some nice brown in here. I'm gonna add some salt and pepper and season this. Beautiful. Mushrooms usually need quite a good amount of salt. However, I'm, I don't wanna to use too much because we do have the Worcestershire, the barbecue, and the ketchup. So we'll balance out all the flavors together and we'll make sure that you taste whatever you're cooking. All right, so it took about 10 to 12 minutes to get our veggies cooked. They look gorgeous, they're so fragrant. So we have these, our potatoes are ready. So what we're going to do first is we're going to prepare our vegetables mushroom mixture and um, going to plug in my food processor and we'll show you how we're going to finish that off. All right, so we have our veggies and we're adding them to the food processor. Oh, if you could always smell this, it's so delicious. Okay. Next, we take our chickpeas as well and put them in. We are going to add our barbecue sauce, some ketchup, and some Worcestershire. And all we're going to do is just pulse, pulse, pulse this. You want to keep scraping this down so that you don't get any large chunks of onions or mushrooms or celery in there. Now we're going to Taste it. Mmm, delicious. I love the element of sweetness that between the ketchup and the barbecue sauce and the, oh, it's such a good combination of flavors. Absolutely delicious. So what we're going to do is we're going to add these. I think we're gonna make individual little shepherd's pie. We're going to add these to individual ramekins. I don't know, like 
a tablespoon of liquid on the inside. We're gonna mash them. All right, so what I do now is to make, give it a little bit of extra flavor. I use the chickpea liquid right in here. Just a little bit, a couple of tablespoons. And I am taking this cream cheese. I want to start with half of this package. And start getting this in here, working it in. This is going to elevate the flavor of the mashed potatoes. It's so beautiful. It's so delicious. Even if you're not making vegan shepherd's pie. This is such a fun way to make vegan mashed potatoes. And we're going to taste it. Mm, delicious. So we used half of it. I'm going to make it exactly to the half. I'm going to set this aside. I'm going to add a little bit of salt, a little bit of pe pepper, Amazing. And I'm going to add a tablespoon of nutritional yeast just so that we can get some more of the cheesy flavor in it. I want to make sure that everything mixed in really, really well before we top this. So the cream cheese that I used, it has chives in it. You can use plain one as well. I just like the extra flavor that we're getting in this from the chives. It's nothing like fresh herbs in cooking. Mm. So, so good. So, so good. So now, we we'll take this and we'll put it right on top. And look at that. It already looks so good. And we're going to pop this in the oven at 400 degrees for about 10 minutes. Because what we're doing is Everything is already cooked. We don't need to have anything stewed together or anything like that. Just going to bake it, get all the flavors going together, and pop it out in 10 minutes. So our mini shepherd's pie have been in the oven for about 10 minutes at 400 degrees. Now all I'm going to do is brown the top and put them under the broiler for about a minute or two. All right, our mini shepherd's pie are out of the oven. I think they look so beautiful and I love the idea of making them in the individual servings because if you're cooking for yourself or if you're cooking for somebody else, there's just something really nice about this personalized dish. So we're just going to sprinkle a little bit of parsley right on top here. Just beautiful. And what we have, I already have a portion scooped out here. Mmm, it is so good. It just tastes beautiful and healthy and fresh and delicious and all the just flavors came together, really nice. I can't wait for you to try this recipe. Let me know in the comments what you think of what other variations of vegan shepherd's pie that you have come up with in your kitchen. Thanks so much for tuning in and I wish you to live a deliciously healthy life. Bye for now.